In a previous color space video, a commenter asked about another common color model, CMYK, and how that would compare to these other models. Well, you've been looking at it this whole time. The RGB space and the CMYK space are basically the same space. They just have two different applications. Think of light when you're talking about RGB. With nothing, there is black, and as you add colors, you eventually end up at white. And this is called an additive color model. We use this for computers because we're dealing with light coming out of a monitor. For CMYK, think of pigment, paint, or ink. We have a white piece of paper or canvas, and you're adding colors. As you add them all together, eventually you get to black. And this is called a subtractive model. So if they are basically the same, why does CMYK have that black component, which K in CMYK stands for key. And why does RGB not have a white component? So let's add a color into this space and I'll show you. So let's add this kind of uh, pistachio colored green here. And now to get to this color from white in CMYK, we're gonna add one, two, three, four, five, six units of cyan color. We're gonna go down two units of magenta. And then we need one, two, three, four units of yellow. Yellow would, would bring us here. And I should say that this is CMY, not CMYK. To achieve this color without using black in a CMY space, we need six. Cyan, two, magenta, and four, yellow. Units of paint, pigment, wh whatever you are actually using for color. And so with CMY, we end up using a total of 12 units of volume of pigment or ink or whatever. And so, but if you are printing, then like you have to have this much ink on your paper and that gets it wet. It takes time to dry. It can smear. You want to use less material and also you have to pay for this stuff. And so if you can get away with using a smaller amount of ink, that will save you money. And so for each set of these three colors that are the same, we can remove one of these and add a black component. We do the same thing for here. And then this is CMYK. We actually end up not having, not needing any magenta. And so the CMYK totals end up to eight or three quarters of what we had before. And so you can get by with using less ink and having you know less moisture on your uh, paper or whatever you're doing. And so the less ink you use to get to a color, the better like your end result is going to be like for like drying and quickness and, and all of that. Also money, you have to pay for these inks and everything too. So that's why the CMYK has like a K, has, has a black portion in it compared to the RGB. I thought I would just show that actually in the color space also. So you add two black going diagonal, then you have your four uh, cyan, and then your two yellow. This is the last yellow in the actual color space here. Just a quick video about color. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.